Team GH. This is your savings tutor, Mr. Patrick Bala. This evening, myself and my colleague, we are going to discuss how we can start building our houses, and especially the youth. When I talk about financial education and financial discipline, I'm not just talking about saving your money at the bank or investing in some treasure bills and bonds. Having your own house as a place of comfort is also as crucial as keeping your money at the bank. So today, we are going to discuss why the youth especially should start thinking of building a house the moment they get employed. You find most youth in Ghana today, the moment they are employed, the first thing they think about is to get a car. It's good. But have you ever thought about the need to get a place to lay your head? Not just renting a place, but your own place. To join me for this discussion, I have with me Mr. Ebenezer Asaru Isuman. Mr. Ebenezer, welcome. Thank you very much. This general perception of building your house, for me personally, I think that the youth have a stake in this. Because going in the days when you can move from, let's say, you are Ashanti, you move from Ashanti, when you come to Ghana and um, Accra, you stay in Accra someone's house for 30 years. Yeah. You give birth, 40 years, 50 years, you die. Your kids are also in the same house. It's like a family house, but you are still renting. I think that we have gone past that stage. We are at the stage where the youth will have to think of how they can buy a land and start building. What's your opinion on that? Yeah, thank you very much. I mean, this is it, it, it's a thorny issue. It's something that really is causing a lot of problems or challenges for the youth of today. There's something I've always said that, you know, we have a first car and a dream car. Yeah. We have a, a, a dream wife, but we don't have a first wife. Yeah. We have a first house and a dream house. People, I think in your introduction, you mentioned how people are always thinking about getting a car. But one of the greatest legacies anybody can leave behind is a house. And we are not talking about this house, we are talking about houses here. I believe strongly that if you would want to carry out a project all your life that will give you peace of mind, yeah. housing is crucial exactly. that you cannot do without. And so I think that this should be taken with all seriousness by every youth. For me, to, to add to what you just said, for me personally, I believe that if you start working after the invest and for the first five years, you're not able to buy a land, you are failing. That's what I think. Because when you say building a house, it doesn't mean that one day the house just appears to you for whatever it is. But the steps that you take in building a house, so the first step, as we all know, is to buy a land. That's right. And nowadays, you can either buy for the chiefs, we all know the land that issues, or you buy from the estate developers. A good place now, even the, the capital is expanding. Yes. People are not coming to work from Winneba, coming from Isabel. Mm -hmm. So, if you really want to make that a point, you can, as if you buy a land from at Isabel and start developing within the first five years. It will interest you to know that the fact that you don't have a house on your own or of your own can give you headaches. Yes, I know somebody who had a terminal illness and for many years. In fact, he was bedridden, he could not survive, eventually he died. Why? He was always thinking because every two years, he had to pay somebody rent. So the money that he was making, immediately he goes into the house, he starts making savings towards the next two years to pay. Exactly. Can you imagine this? This was something that troubled this man that he could not stand it. He was always thinking, he was always worried. He had a heart fever and he died. So this is very crucial. It's an area that is great and we must. As a matter of fact, make it so we have to do it deliberately. That every youth, like you said, immediately you start working within the first five years, you should have a land. And a land you start developing on. You see, it's also because people decide that, okay, I'll not get it, even if I'll get a land, I'll not think about developing it. And then later I still about a land that has But immediately you develop it. They can't do that. Exactly. You know, so these are the ways that you can do to prevent them from coming to take the land. So it's a crucial matter that must be taken up seriously by all. Prior to this discussion, I was just reading about the housing deficit in Ghana. The last time I checked, that was about 10 years ago, it was 1.6. Yes. Currently, when I checked, it was 2 million. Really exactly. So it means that the deficit is increasing because our population as a country is also increasing. Okay, so with all that I have said, you now we want to look at how the youth can go into this building stuff. Should they just buy their own land and start developing, which is one option, or go for a mortgage? 
between the two, which one do you think is appropriate looking at our conditions in, in this country, Ghana? We can talk about what's happening elsewhere in America, how much they distributed them, but what to look at the setting of Ghana? Should they just buy the land and build at their own pace or go for a bank mortgage? I'm, I'm, I'm so happy you asked me this because it's, it's really been something we have been deliberating on for, for a very long time. Some of us were deliberating and discussing about building mortgage, mortgage. building mortgage, getting a mortgage. Sincerely, when you ask me, because in the advanced world, this is what they depend on. Exactly. There's nothing like that because the, 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 the lands belong to the government, so you have to depend on that. I think that it is good. It has its good side and bad side. And in, in that, you know, if you get a mortgage, you'll be paying every month for, you know, the money. The difference between this and the renting house is that when you rent the house, after three years, it goes back to the owner, mm -hmm. the landlord or landlady. But this thing, even if it's 20 years, you'll be paying every month. When you are done, it is yours. So you do it with all sincerity, with all belief that, look, this is my own house and this is what I'm going to do. The only challenge is that you would need to also speak with specialists, experts in the area who can direct you because there are some of them that can cause you because you have to look at the pros and cons, especially when you have to do with the, the interest, the rate that you have to pay on where people price their own in, in foreign currencies like in dollars and those that price their own in cities. So you look at all these areas and that will guide you. So you speak with an expert in, 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 in mortgage, somebody who can give you all the guidelines that you need. In all, in a nutshell, I can tell you for a fact that I think that mortgage in the long term would help you be able to do that. It is a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I also agree that it's a good thing. But as you said, you have to look at the terms and conditions. The, the number of years. That's right. Means if you are, you are a first time worker, you have to look at between 20 to 25 years mortgage. Otherwise, if you don't take care and go for, let's say, 100,000 CDs mortgage and you're paying within 10 years, you can see the stress that you put on years. So that's a very good point. But I've been wanting to ask this question. Personally, I've been thinking about this question. I have my personal opinion about it, but let me ask you. Is it good as a young person to get married um, before you build your house or you build your house or buy a land before you get married? What's your take, your take on these two pointers? Is it that you advise a young person who is straight out of school to buy a land within five years and get married or get married and together as a family? They get a man to buy. Okay, so especially if you're a guy, right? Yeah. So thank you once again. Um, I mean, you said to be a man is not easy. And I always said that two of the major projects any young person can do his lifetime: two, marriage and building. Yeah. I did in a certain we say that when when you are married, your spouse can also help you to develop, to build, to do things that way. But it also has its own consequences because maybe you may not have planned that immediately we marry in the first few years we're going to have raise kids but kids will come in immediately they do what it means that expenses are going to go up and you may not be able to raise these money to do that a very good example is, is, is a friend of mine who um single wasn't married but had a land and the land was in the western region and he wanted to travel to ukraine and prior to that just at that time the oil guys came in, you know, oil was discovered, so a lot of companies were coming there. And they wanted to buy his land at five times the original price or the value, the value price. Wow. And I'm talking of a land that he had at almost nothing. Wow. You know, so the this gentleman said, hallelujah. He sold off the land, used part of it to travel to Ukraine, and he used part of the money to marry. Exactly. So when, if I want to speak from the point of this example, then I can say that, look, when you are able to get a land first, Maybe you may not even necessarily put up the house yet. You can resell the land, have more money, use some to marry, and use some to buy another land or more lands. Wow. You understand? So this example gives you. There are also other examples that will say that look when you marry. But I said that there the challenge may be that because family will come in, kids may come in, yeah. planning will be crucial, expenses might go up, and therefore it can affect you, and you'll be procrastinating and putting forward. So if you are young and sing your now, right after school, you start making money, why don't you get the land first? I think that that would be very good. Okay, right. I think it has been a great discussion. Viewers, you're looking at building a house as a youth. Our discussion has all has come to the conclusion that we all need to get at least a land to start a project on. If you have enjoyed our session today, you can go to our, our channel on YouTube, Patrick TV GH, Subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. We'll meet again next time.